Uh, today we have with us Andy Newhold and he's from Switzerland and uh, he's here to talk about his own brand uh, called as Rocket Pro Rocket Customs. Uh, Rocket Rocket Customs basically builds uh, custom motorcycles and Andy is quite famous in Europe and other parts of the world. So welcome Andy uh, uh, and we'll quickly start with our uh, question and answer session. So uh, Andy, do you want to talk about your brand as to how you started with? Well, yeah, sure. Uh, we started 2014. Uh, we had the opportunity uh, to build a bike for the custom bike show in 2014. Okay. That was a competition where you had a certain amount of months to build a bike with a certain amount of money okay. with the budget. And uh, we built the bike in four months for this competition All right. uh, with a maximum of only 5,000 euros. All right. And there were three teams. So that was really fun. All right. And that was sort of the begin the beginning of Rocket Sprocket. Yeah. All right. And how did the name evolve Rocket Sprocket Customs? How did you uh, thought of giving it a name as, you know, Rocket Sprocket Customs? Well, uh, you know, the, the bike we built was called the Rocket Sprocket. All right. And uh, so we made the Rocket Sprocket Customs out of it because that was the beginning of this whole thing, right? All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, you've been uh, you you've been winning quite a lot of accolades and quite a lot of awards in terms of building your bikes. And recently, you won uh, a best street fighter. Uh, in, uh, award in a December 2018 for your uh, best street fighter uh, for your custom bike. So how, how did you felt like, you know, I mean, I know that you have been winning awards, but how did you feel for this special, uh, special award that you won? That was really incredible. That was really awesome. You know, yeah, you know, uh, I just had this dream of this bike in my head, those right. pictures for right. so many years. And I was working so many hours to get rid of this, this pictures in my head. Right. And it's really nice that other people like the way it looks right now too, you know? Exactly. And I really do appreciate that, that, that the people like my bike too. Right. So it was, it was very well taken by, uh, by the custom fraternity also across the planet. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, um, that was really nice to see that other people have fun with that too, yeah. Exactly. Do you mind talking about a bit of challenges while building this bike? Uh, I mean, uh, maybe uh, you could you could highlight about uh, what were the challenges like less time, more more work. Well, the well my my personal challenge is to build everything myself. All right. As far as possible. So you're one man army, is it? For me? You're one man army. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got a, uh, I've got one two friends. Sometimes they help me a little bit out, but okay. most of the time I'm on my own. Yeah. Right. So I, uh, I bought a milling machine. I bought a welding machine. I, bought, I, I, I took some courses in in sheet metal. Right. Uh, stuff. And I'm just curious. I'm just interested in, in doing those whole things myself, right? Exactly. And I don't want to ask other people all the time to help me out. Help you know, I want to do yeah. it myself. And for me, that's the only really way to be creative. Exactly. Do it yourself, right? So exactly. I don't always want to ask somebody else, please, could you help me? Please, could you do that? Please, could you do that? I just want to do my own. And yeah. That's why I started casting aluminum, for example. Right. I, I built, uh, I saw on YouTube this uh, how to build a furnace. And well, I built one and it works. So that's fun. That's Fantastic. Really fun. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, do you, uh, want to shed few lights on the specifications of this bike that you built, like the engine or uh, you know how how did you build it? Like uh, 
do you want to share a detail uh, a bit of detail with us yeah sure uh, well the, the the main idea of this bike was to just show the motor that's the that's the main part this right. massive thing with the, the supercharger and all this other stuff around right and yeah building building all the other parts around this massive thing and uh, I always loved the peanuts tank right the Harley sports peanut tank right so uh, I bought the sports tank cut it apart and welded it together the way I thought it should look like right exactly and, yeah, that's uh, that was the the whole body body part thing, and the, the motor is still the engine is still original, but I'm building another engine now with uh, other engine parts, so it should last a little bit longer. Okay, all right. So um, uh, now uh, moving to the next question, like. Uh, uh, in in Europe, especially uh, electric motorcycles uh, market has been getting a lot of traction uh, recently. I mean, uh, every uh, every country we would see uh, coming up with their own electric motorcycles. So, do you feel it is in competition to the custom motorcycles, or uh, it's altogether a different thing that you think about? What are your views on this? Well, I. Uh, I think it's in, it's an interesting thing. Um, I'm pretty sure there's coming a lot more electrical bikes Innovations. from the yeah. custom bike shows, right? Um, I think there should be a separate category because it's you, it's a different thing, right? You don't have the same problems. Let's let's name them problems. <laughs> right. Then you have with a with a with a normal engine, right? Exactly. Um, but uh, it's an interesting thing, you know. I, I'm I'm I think I personally think they have to learn a lot more about the whole capacity thing with the batteries. I don't like the idea uh, from from taking all of this uh, lithium out of the. The, the the earth and, and destroying parts of the world that's not really better than than the oil companies right to name it green but it's the right way yeah exactly so uh, uh, given a chance like would you be also building like let's say for example if you think of building a, a custom uh, would you want to build a electric custom kind of thing a fusion of both electric and a custom yeah, sure. Why not? I, I would be really interested in trying something like that. Definitely. Yeah. Why not? Right. Why not? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, now, uh, what were your learnings after you created uh, the Street Fighter? Like, uh, what did you learn out of creating a, such a beautiful bike? Uh, I understand that you won an award, but uh, I feel there should definitely be a learning out of the bike that you have made. Well, I'm, 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 I'm learning every day, you know. Okay. <laughs> I'm really learning. You fail and you fall down, you get up and you try it again, you know. Right. Uh, for example, the tail section, uh, I've built the tail section three or four times, I don't know. Okay. And I'm really trying to get into the sheet metal stuff a little bit more and so on. Uh, it, it's a process. Yeah. Right. I think every yeah. every every time uh, when you start building custom right from the beginning, from the design to the end, you you learn something, uh, whether it's a frame Absolutely. or whether it's a headlight or how you want to fix it, you know, or whether it's a seat. Yeah. All right. I. Uh, it keeps you. It keeps you creative. You know. Yeah. It helps you. <laughs> It helps your brain to get more creative every time. Yes, yes. I agree. Now, um, uh, how do you see yourself in the future? Like, uh, how do you want to see yourself? Like, you have been building up custom bikes a lot. How do you, you will see like five years down the line? Uh, uh, I understand uh, 
as you go along the way you'd be more creative but uh, would you be would you be doing more stuff in custom or how would you like to be uh, in future well my dream would be to really build as much as possible by myself you know really really uh, getting more in this sheet metal stuff and, and be able to create my own fuel tanks my own fairings and and, and be really creative you know right. I, I, I just, I just want to build those pictures I have in my head. In your head, yeah. And and and, and that's that's the main thing. I just want to be creative and have fun, you know. Right. And uh, I never want to lose the fun part. Fun that's part. That's the most um, the most important thing, I think. Yeah. Right. And now, uh, my last question would be to you, Andy. Is uh, who who is your inspiration in the custom world like uh, you know many people they uh, uh, they i won't say they copy but they they get some inspiration out of uh, the folks around so is there someone whom you closely look of uh, in terms of their designs or follow them is there someone who whom you want to uh, who you want to talk about well, it's not one special person, you know. I, I see in in every single customizer, I see yeah. something special, yeah. you know. Every yeah. customizer has yeah. their their special parts to look at things, you know. Exactly. And that's why I really love to go to some custom bike shows. Yeah. And look all at those details and those ideas and how they fix something and how they they. They, they, yeah, they try to, right. to find a solution for solution. for something, right? Exactly. So, so I'm not especially a fan of somebody, but I, I just love the culture. I, lo I love the custom bike builders. Yeah. In in, 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 the, in the whole thinking thing, right? Yeah. In fact, I mean, when I when I when I started writing my article, so when I start writing, when I look after uh, custom uh, custom bikes i every time think that you know what could be new but on a next day when i see people building something new oh and then it's like wow it's 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 altogether a different thing that has been built by you know people so uh, it's not like uh, you know people stay on one design it keeps on changing although you feel that you know it's not changing but yeah every time i yes. see yeah, yeah. what could be next what could be next but you know uh, there are folks around who are who are creative now for for example your designs are are very creative or you now for that matter max azan's uh, oh, designs yeah, are very yeah. creative he's, he's yeah just, uh, or for genius, yeah. for that matter doruk erdem is another guy who yeah. has been very creative so absolutely uh, yeah yeah so i think uh, it's not only per se uh, that we feel that you know uh, one design it's it's going to be a one design but every time i see the ne uh, every every day i see it's like you know it keeps on changing so uh, i think yeah, it's, well, it's, it's so it's so in inspiring isn't it's it? inspiring you, yes it's inspiring when you look this output yeah. all over the world you know it's just wow and yeah. Yeah. yeah so so even if you see roland sands he built something new uh, uh, or you know uh, uh, there, there are quite a lot of folks who are very creative rafik daisy is another one yeah absolutely so i think uh, mm, uh, i have done with my questions andy uh, uh, what uh, so i think you have spoke about uh, what would you be doing uh, down the line five years you be more creative with yourself more bike more with the, your designs more by bike, bike building anything else that you would like to talk about uh, which i didn't cover and then uh, probably will end so anything and uh, anything else that comes in your mind where you would like to talk no about really? custom custom world no, just travel around the world and meet other people and be creative. That's oh, that's it. All right. So, do you also uh, attend uh, events on the motorcycles? Like we have glimpse, like or uh, sultans of sprints. 
you been there have you been there any time I, i've been there last year i tried oh. to race okay and after my burnout the the fuel i had a problem with the fuel line okay and the motor flop okay. <laughs> stopped <laughs> Yeah. I think I think those are the that learnings that you get, right? <laughs> those, those are the real time learnings that you get from when you when you are on the scene. Definitely. Well, the, a lot of people just told me, you know, that, that's racing, right? <laughs> exactly. But it's it racing. You need to build your bike and then uh, then go yourself into the race. That is how it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. I think um, it's been wonderful uh, talking to you, Andy. Uh, uh, I've got to know uh, how your brand is and uh, what is your focus in coming years. It's it's wonderful to talk to you offline as well and as well as on the video as well.